Okay, when they when they talk about lots lots of recipes, when they talk, they talk uh, about a koi hog. That's the East Coast clam. This is a koi hog. So in the recipe that calls for a koi hog or half a dozen or a dozen koi hogs, they they're talking about these. These work just fine for it. Same. This one I got. I told the guy at the uh, hubby, or Pike Place Market what I was going to. I said I just wanted one of them. How much is one of them? And he said, "What are you going to do with one?" And I told him. So he gave it to me. <laughs> and guess what? I ate it. <laughs> and they, they taste really, really the same. Let's, let's see. Some. Okay. These are cockles. They, they are part of... Uh, 40 of those would be more than 10 pounds. So they're, and they're, they're good for uh, fritters or... Lots of people just steam them and eat them. They're, the main part of them is a boot that they dig with or, or move with and uh, it, it's tougher than nails but if people like them that's fine they grind them for chowder same way with these are okay for chowder best best use of these that i think is for uh, crab beef i don't i don't dig any of them best use is for, is for what crab bait uh -oh. People go digging just for crab bait. They also use these. They just cut them in half and put them in a basket inside the crab pot. Uh, somebody made a comment here. I kind of got ahead of myself, like I say, this is the first time I actually did it this way. This is what you get at the beach in Adosha, razor clams, and they dig very fast away from you. This clam gun, this is what you use to get razor clams. You can use a shovel also, so you just put a, your finger over this hole, you push it down, put your finger over it, and draw a plug of and, and when, you, when you see a hole, they're going to head towards the water. So you tip the tube towards the water and push it down as fast as you can. Because once he started moving, he, he only takes seconds to go down the length of this. So, so the technique is to be quick about it. And also aim the right way, because if you go straight down, you're going to miss him. <coughs> And they call that a clam gun, and this is a razor clam shovel. Short handle. It, it works kind of kind of the same, only you get on the water side of him, and you go down like that real quick. And he's supposed to come. If you're lucky, you got him on the blade. Another thing, this is for the, the kitties, but. If you bring stuff on the beach, take it home with you. This is one year's collection off of Freeland Beach. Uh, so, if hmm, that's an expensive one too. That's a Corona. <laughs> if the kids, uh, if Grandma wants to let the kids use the tools, I encourage them to bring them back off the beach, so maybe she'll let him use them again. I, uh, and it's not just the little kids, I, I taught a class from uh, Yakima and they weren't supposed to dig, but I said, well, we, we won't dig anything, or we won't take anything, so I, I asked the, uh, whoever was in charge if it was okay, and he said, yeah, they, they understand that. So, so I loaned uh, three of these, and I got one of them back. So they, 
And these were high school kids. <laughs> and I haven't collected any for a while because the beach down there, of course, maybe you all know, have been has been closed for some time. This is just some collection of shells that I've. Uh, I'll, I'll pass pass some around. This is uh, just go each way, and then that that's a uh, cherry stone. Uh, notice the how you tell as the lines go this way. And these are nacella. They're good. They're. Uh, If I had more time while I was eating, I would. But I get hung up on uh, saving the shells and uh, pick them out. But the way to do it is to crack them. Oh, is it? Yeah. So they're good to eat. Yeah. You just steam them just like stamp. If you look at the rules, though, it says since they're not on the list, you can only get five of these. Any, almost any of them that are. On the, not in the book stuff that's not in the book. There's a five limit. So this this is edible. Everything that I would show you here is edible. Uh, not the rock. Uh, my muscles are right here. No. Not not very many anymore. They call them jingles. And you've got that name. I don't. I don't remember the, the biological name. But Indians use these to uh, Indians. Our Native American friends use these to make jewelry with, and they call them jingles. This is the part they put on the necklace. Well, except uh, I might have a pair. Now you want a pair. See, she's tested me. Yeah. Be more like that. Yeah. And they call that the poor man's oyster also. They're good to eat as well. Uh, chitin that I found that someone had pulled off a rock and left on the beach. And it was dried up that way. All these things are good to eat.